this Alabama landowner purchased a mine trapping system during the month of November. An automatic feeder with a digital timer was erected with a Jaeger Pro ice camera to send texted photos of daily activity. The intel sent to his cell phone during the next 48 hours revealed at least 20 pigs were using the feeder as a daily food source. One potential problem was this property had several 5x10 portable box traps littered across the landscape. Although portable traps are easily transported, we do not recommend their use because these devices only capture juveniles and uneducated adults. Our concern was the level of trap education this sounder had received from miscaptures using these inefficient metal contraptions. We recommended the landowner first erect the mine gate without panels to see how the sounder reacted to a new metal object. Only 13 juveniles used the bait site on December 2nd. The juveniles were joined by four adults on December 3rd. The landowner erected six mine trap panels with T-posts on December 4th and installed our video camera to begin documenting their reaction and behavior. As usual, the first to arrive were the 13 juveniles, but even the young pigs were cautious and moved in and out of the trap. Observe their reaction to the camera mounted on the T-post. It takes several minutes before the first adult trusts the gate threshold. This gilt's tail is erect and she is very cautious. Some of this guarded behavior may have been prevented by camouflaging the gate to break up the vertical and horizontal lines. We observed multiple examples of pigs bolting out of the trap after adult vocalizations from the wood line. The spooky behavior occurred both day and night. It was very rare for all 20 pigs to be feeding inside the trap enclosure at one time. Lance DeMint, our Jaeger Pro Director of Trapping Operations, viewed the SD cards on our video cameras so he could better plan the most effective capture strategy. The mine camera photos texted to his cell phone demonstrated very erratic activities. Oftentimes, pig behavior is more easily understood by viewing video footage instead of only still photos. Lance noticed this sounder was in and out of the trap multiple times for no apparent reason. Although these pigs seem more comfortable entering the trap enclosure each night, they continuously spook out of the trap only to file right back in. This behavior would make it very difficult to implement a high percentage capture. Lance made a few alterations to the landowner's trap, ensuring there would be no escapes. He decided the best capture strategy for their erratic behavior would be to view the sounder from an elevated stand and then trigger the gate close with an on-site remote control. He counted 21 pigs appear from the woods, but had never identified this thin red sow on camera before. On-site observation gave us the ability to see the big picture. There was an entirely different group consisting of three sows, two sub-adults, and two boars. These seven pigs stayed in the field and never came close to the trap enclosure. Observe these two boars as they check to see if the young black gilt and red sow are coming into heat. Breaking off. 
The group of seven stayed in the field and the sounder of 20 at the feeder. <laughs> there goes everybody out of the trap. Standard operating procedure. There was not an opportunity for all 20 pigs to be captured inside the mine trap enclosure, so Lance made a command decision to abort the mission the first night.
close to the lamp when I close it. Lance effectively captured 20 pigs inside the trap. The second group of seven pigs appeared from the woods 50 yards past the trap enclosure. He's waiting for all seven pigs to travel into the field so he can make a stop with the wind in his face. Euthanize the pigs inside the trap with a suppressed 22 caliber rifle, starting with the adults first. 20 pigs were captured inside the trap, and 3 of 7 were shot with a 308 caliber thermal scoped rifle. Two nights later, Lance finished the mission by killing the last 4 remaining pigs at the target area. This segment demonstrated the strategic removal of two separate groups at the same location by applying two different methods and technologies. One professional hog control operator effectively removed all 27 pigs from the target area. Congratulations to Lance DeMint for implementing the required discipline and skills needed to execute an effective integrated wild pig control plan for this Alabama landowner. The next video in our series will continue to demonstrate feral hog behavior so viewers will better understand how to accomplish 100% captures for more effective hull control. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the methods and technology needed to better control feral hog populations in your area. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hull Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea, or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to send us a message through Facebook or email us at info at